Good morning and welcome to the Weekend Trends on SSI TV Africa. Warner Bros. plans anime movie in Lord of the Rings series. The Warner Bros. movie studio will produce an anime feature film set in the world of J.R.R. Tolkien's popular The Lord of the Rings books, officials announced on Thursday. The new movie will explore the forest of Helm's Deep and feature the king of the Rohan, Helm Hammerhand. Anime filmmaker Kenji will direct the film. No release date was set. Plastics tax urge for UK fast fashion brands fueling runaway climate change. Half of fast fashion items sold by popular British online brands, including Boohoo and Misguided, are made entirely from non recycled plastic like polyester, a think tank said on Friday as it urged the government to slap a tax on such garments. Most of the clothes contain synthetic fabrics like nylon, acrylic and elastane which are made with fossil fuels and damage to the environment through emissions and waste and the Royal Society of Arts Manufacturers and Commerce said. The Britain throwaway culture means most fast fashion will end up in landfill where it could take thousands of years to break down, said the RSA, which works to find solutions to change social challenges. They called for brands to publish regular stat statistics on how much plastic goes into their garments and explore ways of promoting second-hand clothing. Pandemic propels Auckland to top of EIU's most livable cities ranking. COVID-19 has shaken up the Economist Intelligence Unit's annual ranking of most livable cities, propelling Auckland to first place. Replacing Vienna, which crashed out of the top 10 as the island nations of New Zealand, Australia and Japan fared best. The Australian capital had led the list since 2018 and four years ran neck and neck with Melbourne at the top of the survey of 140 urban centres. New Zealand's elimination of COVID-19 within its borders through lockdown measures helped by its geographic isolation, however, gave its city a big boost. Mutsuiding FM presenter Buitumela Mutsei to be laid to rest on Saturday. Popular Mutsuiding FM presenter of a SABC Education Kids program, Buitumela Mutsei will be laid to rest on Saturday. Mama Nitumi, as she was affectionately known, passed away at the weekend due to COVID-19 related complications. The spokesperson for the family, Dede Lezoghe, says they will follow all safety protocols related to the COVID-19 pandemic. He says they have also made provisions for those who are unable to attend the funeral service due to limited numbers. Venezuela's Dancing Devils asked for an end to the pandemic. Members of the Venezuela Ceremonial Brotherhood, known as the Dancing Devils, on Thursday held their annual Corpus Christ celebration by calling for an end of COVID-19 pandemic in the country and the world. Groups of adult men and youth in towns along Venezuela's central coast have since the 1970s deserved as dressed as mass devils who hold a ritual in which they surrender to God as part of a symbolic victory of good over evil. The celebration of the Roman Catholic holiday mixes indi indigenous African and Spanish traditions according to the cultural ministries. Pregnant women resort to traditional medicine due to lack of access to health care services study. Pregnant women in remote areas resort to using traditional medicine as a result of poor access to health care services. This is according to the study published by the Walter Sicily University in the Eastern Cape. The study has uncovered that pregnant women in the far-flung villages of Kumbu use traditional medicine for all face traveling long distance for health care services. The use of these medicine is common amongst women between the ages of 25 to 35. As Savela Kasa, a student, conducted the study for her postgraduate qualification. Thank you for tuning in on the weekend trains.